Hare Krishna everyone. So, thank you very much for joining. So, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for joining on a Sunday evening for this wonderful uh, program that the devotees have arranged. So, let me tell you, today's topic is going to be the importance of chanting holy names of Krishna. And we will also see what are the scriptural benefits or what are the scriptural validations of the quotes or what is the benefit that we are going to get by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, by chanting the names of Krishna, what benefits we are going to get. We will see that. And we will also see some practical tips and practical ways how to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So is everybody comfortable with English? Is it okay if I can proceed with English? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So first of all, let's begin with a story, okay? So once upon a time, there was a kingdom. In that kingdom, there were some devotees, just like these devotees. They were trying to do some worship of Krishna. So they wrote the names of Krishna on various leaves, okay? And uh, they were... Uh, keeping the leaves for offering to Krishna. Somehow by mistake that leaf went to a cow. Okay. The cow started eating that leaf on which the name of Krishna was written. And somehow magically that cow started to chant the names of Krishna. <laughs> and when the cow started to chant the names of Krishna, the cow pers the person who was owner of the cow he got scared and he left it in the hall, in the forest. He thought, oh my god, what is this cow? <laughs> Something is wrong with this cow. So at that point of time, that cow was taken by taken over by someone else. And then later, that person sold it to another merchant, that cow. And that merchant took that cow. And then that cow was still chanting the names of Krishna every day. And it was giving nice milk, very fragrant milk. The milk taste, everything has changed now. Because it's chanting the names of Krishna. And then this milk, this merchant started to sell. And everybody started to feel that there is something like medicinal milk, something special. And he became very famous also. And uh, this news went till the king. Because the king... The king was... Uh, his... Uh, daughter was sick and the Raj Vaidya said that she will die. There is no chance that she will live. So then they heard that, okay, there is some magical cow which chants the names of Krishna. Let us uh, take the milk of that cow and see what happens. And then they call this person and then say, we have heard that your cow is very special. Can we get some milk? And they said, okay, sure. Then they get some milk and then they give it to the princess. And the princess gets cured of the deadly disease. The king becomes very happy. Right? King becomes very happy and the king says, Can you give this cow to me? I want the cow. I like the cow. It's a very special cow. Very specially, it's chanting. It's giving some medicinal milk. And he said, Okay, but I can give you. But my problem is that uh, that's the only way of living for me. The king said, Okay, you can take this. And he gave a very nice amount of money compensation and then he took the cow. So, and then slowly... Uh, the milk that was coming from that cow was being given to the king. And then, who are the ministers used to come? The ministers also, they used to take a little bit of milk of that cow. And the ministers, there was a transformation in the mind of the king. Transformation in the ministers. And the transformation, because of that transformation, slowly, slowly they started implementing some nice policies. They started making some people-friendly policies. They started building some nice temples. And the whole population of the state, that complete state, started chanting the names of Krishna. So such a wonderful thing. Today we are all assembled here to discuss about the power of the holy names of Krishna because it is the most powerful thing. I mean, to even to explain the glories of the holy names of Krishna, it is not possible even for Ananda Shesha, who is uh, having an infinite uh, hood, that snake, he cannot also tell the glories of chanting of the Lord Krishna. It's so, 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 so special. Very special. So we will see some nice stories today. We will see some scriptural references today. We will see why we should chant. What is the benefit of chanting? All of that we will start. Okay, so it's a very interesting session. So let's start with the power of the holy name. What is so 
great about this uh, holy name of uh, Krishna. So let us start with the first thing here. That what does Bhagavad Gita say about chanting of Hare Krishna or chanting about Krishna? Do you know? We have heard, we have completed Bhagavad Gita, right? 18 chapters. So do you remember any verses from Bhagavad Gita which says about importance of chanting the names of God? Anybody remembers? Any by any chance? It's already popular. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I closed it again. <laughs> so <laughs> You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> no problem. You can repeat it. Yes. Yes, that's nice. So Lord Krishna is saying in the chapter number 9, the most confidential knowledge. Chapter number 9 is the most confidential knowledge. That means very secretive knowledge. Okay, repeat after me. Satatam kirta yanto maham. Lord Krishna is saying something here. Always chanting my glories. Endeavoring with great determination, bowing down before me, these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion. So Lord Krishna is praising those people who are doing Kirtan. Satatam Kirta Yantoma means always, always chanting my names. And they are called as Mahatma. They are very, very great people, Krishna is saying. Let's see some more references from Bhagavad Gita because we just now finished Bhagavad Gita. Here is a very important verse. 10th chapter, right? The opulence of the absolute. The opulence of the absolute. Vibhuti Yoga. 10th chapter. What is that? Yajnana Japa Yajnosmi. Of sacrifices, I am chanting of the holy names. Japa. What does that mean? Means there are multiple types of sacrifices. Am I right? So, how do you do sacrifice? There is a fire, sacrificial fire altar. And then you will chant mantras. Then Spurati will say Swaha, Swaha, Swaha like that. Earlier days they used to do, now there is no sacrifice now. Am I right? There is no sacrifice. Only sacrifice is uh, our um, vehicles, four wheelers. <laughs> the smoke coming from the four wheelers, two wheelers, that is only the sacrifice, petrol sacrifice. <laughs> but there are no sacrifices that are going on right now. But then Lord Krishna is saying that Everybody must compulsorily do sacrifice. Compulsory. If you don't do fire sacrifice, you will be under bondage. It's not good at all. Compulsory. Our Vedas are telling. And how do you do practically in Kali Yuga? How can you do fire sacrifice? Is it possible? It is not possible. It is not possible. So the practical way is Japa Yajna. Japa means what? Japa means chanting. Japa means chanting. So, can everybody do this yajna? Yes or no? Yes. Everybody can do this yajna? How much is the cost for performing this yajna? Yes. There is no cost. <laughs> Absolutely no cost. Free. Anybody can do. Anytime. Anywhere. Simply you have to chant. I mean, at least you should just have the vocal cord to chant. Right? As long as we are having the vocal cord to chant, we must utilize it for chanting. So, Yajnara, Japa Yajnas. Let's see the next verse. This is from Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a very, very beautiful verse. It says, Aparasam Sritam Ghoram Yannama Viva Shogranan Tadasadyo Vimuchcheta Yadbi Vedit Svayam Bhayam Yeah, anybody want to read the translation? Entangled in the complicated meshes of birth and death can be freed immediately by even consciously chanting the unconscious. Holy, unconscious. even unconsciously chanting the holy name of the Krishna, which is feared by a fear personified. Srimad Bhagavatam ki chai. Beautiful, beautiful verse. Just see what it says. Even if you unconsciously chant the names of Krishna, that is sometimes, you know, jokingly, 
Sometimes by unconsciously you don't even know why you said Krishna. Just for fun you said Krishna. Sometimes we say for fun. In the south they say, Govinda, Govinda. <laughs> Finished. Anna? So you cheated, something happened. Govinda, okay. Anna? So even unconsciously, without knowing, jokingly, if you chant also, what happens? You know, what is the benefit of chanting the names of Krishna? Who are entangled in the complicated measures of birth and death can be freed immediately. You never know. Even when you said jokingly, you said something like Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, something, could be. Said the names of God, you're getting liberation. And then these names of Krishna, Yad Dibet is Vayam Vayam. The fear personified gets fearful. If there is a person called fear, right, who is making us scared, fear personified becomes fearful. Yad Dibet is Vayam Vayam. Fear itself becomes fearful. So whenever you become fearful, what you should do? Hare. Chant the names Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Hare. So who chanted like that? Can you think of an example who became very fearful and then chanted suddenly? Can you remember some example? Huh? Valmiki. Okay. Any example of Mahabharat? Somebody who became very scared and chanted. Who, who became very scared, who became very fearful and then, you know, chanted the names of God? Draupadi. Draupadi. Draupadi was under great danger. Right? She was under the assembly, the vicious assembly. She was about to be disowned by Dushyasana. Then she lifted her hands and chanted the names of God. Right? So that is the greatness of the power of name of God. Let us see some more verses. Very, very wonderful. It's a very, very beautiful verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. How many of you have watched the movie Kalki? Anybody? <laughs> no? Okay, good. And everybody are like good devotees. Then. That's right. <laughs> so right now, which yuga are we in? Which yuga are we in? Kali Yuga. So what is the specialty of Kali Yuga? Can anybody tell me? What is the specialty? The form of Kali. Huh? Form of Kali. Is it good or bad? It's good. Kali. It's not Kali. It's Kali. <laughs> There's a difference between Kali. Mother Kali is different. She's called as, you're talking about Kali. Kali Purush. Kali means quarrel. Fighting. Who likes fighting here? Anybody? Nobody likes fighting. But then you see, right now we are in Kali Yuga. It's not very difficult to pick up a fight. Do you agree? So you're on the streets. And then you just talk to the auto driver and you just say that, no, I'm not going to pay you as much as you're going to say. And then there's going to be a fight starting. Am I right? So always there's a fight. Kali. Kali means fight. Age of quarrel. Everybody is fighting here. You know, there's one special way about this age of Kali. We will see that. Kaler dosha nidhe rajan. Repeat. Kaler dosha nidhe rajan. Asti eko mahan gunaha. Asti eko mahan gunaha. Kirtana Deva Krishna Sya Kirtana Deva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangha Param Brajet Mukta Sangha Param Brajet Here, Shukadeva Goswami is telling to Parikshit Maharaj My dear King, although Kali Yuga is an ocean of faults Aler Dosha Nidhe Raja Ocean of faults So many faults are there here If you have to find defects, you can find so many defects If you have to find some scams it's very easy, easy to find. 2G scam, 3G scam, 4G scam, 5G scam. Everything is a scam. <laughs> Corruption for everything. Birth certificate, registration, death certificate, marriage certificate, corruption. Agreed? Ocean of faults. Ocean of faults. Everything is faulty. But there is a wonderful, wonderful thing about Kali Yuga. You know, people, the sages of Krita Yuga, Satya Yuga, they pray. Oh my God, oh my God, please, please, please make me born in Kali Yuga. Can you believe that? They pray that they want to be born in Kali Yuga. All the demigods also pray that they want to be born in Kali Yuga. Why? This is the reason. Simply by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. That is Krishna Sankirtan. What happens? Free from material bondage and promoted to the transcendental kingdom. Very easy. If you have to do the same thing, 
in Satya Yuga, you have to go for 10,000 years of meditation. People will live for 1 lakh years at that time. So 10,000 years you have to go for Tapasya. Who wants to go Tapasya to Himalayas for 10,000 years? Anybody ready here? We have a package, 10,000 years package. <laughs> we will send you there. Okay. So but then in Kali Yuga you don't need to leave, uh, you don't need to take so much of tension. It's very easy. You just have to chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Let's see more things. Now, this is a very, very beautiful verse from Padma Purana, which says, Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Shuddho Nitya Mukto Abhinnatvan Nama Namino. You know what that means? Nama Chintamani Krishna. Chintamani Nama. Krishna is the Krishna Nama is Chintamani. Chintamani means touchstone. Whatever you ask, it will give. Whatever you want, you will get from Chintamani. Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. It is a reservoir of pleasure. There is so much of pleasure in these two syllables. Only two syllables. Krishna. 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 Krish means material world. Na means liberation. Liberation from material world. Krishna. Two letters. When you chant the names of Krishna, you know what happens? Lord Krishna and Radharani, they dance on the tongue. So on the tongue of the person who is chanting this names of Krishna, Radharani and Krishna are dancing on the tongue of the person who is chanting. So it's a very wonderful thing. Another important thing here is Abhinnatvam Nama Namino. Abhinnatvam Nama Namino. You know what that means? Let us say if you are thirsty, you are very thirsty, I won't give you water. But I will tell, just chant water, water, water. Will your thirst be gone? Will your thirst be gone? If you chant water, 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 will thirst be gone? No. Because the name water is different from actual water. Right? But here it is said, Abhinnatvan Nama Nami No. Means there is no difference between the name of Krishna and Krishna himself. That means as long as you are chanting the names of Krishna, Krishna is here right now. So there is a verse which says that Lord Krishna is not present in the Vaikunta. Naham Dishtami Vaikunte. Krishna is not there in Vaikunta. Nor he is in the hearts of the yogis. Where is he? Yatra Gayanti Mad Bhakta. Tatra Dishtami Narada. Where my devotees are singing my names, there I am present. So, if you sing lovingly Krishna's name, Krishna is present here. He is not present in the Vaikuntha. He is not present in the hearts of the great yogis. He is present right here. So, let's all chant once. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Guru Maharaj says, do you know how to chant the names? There is a special technique of chanting. Do you know how to chant? I'll tell you one special technique. So just like how a small child, there's a small baby. Baby. Let's just imagine you are a small baby now. <coughs> Hungry for milk. Your only food is mother's milk. Now unless you are going to cry loudly, your mother is not going to feed you. Then how will you loudly cry? Can anybody show me how you will cry loudly? <laughs> show me some demonstration. Yeah, somebody. Anybody wants to try? <laughs> ah! Mama! <laughs> so like that, you should chant very loudly with your heart. You should ch chant very loudly, Hare Krishna. With that you know, Krishna, as if you are in a small baby, is crying for milk like that, you should cry. For the sake of mother. Then Krishna will see. Then Krishna will come. So let us see some more interesting things. Some scriptural basis of this Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So what is this Hare Krishna Mahamantra? What is this Krishna Nama, Rama Nama, specialty of this Krishna Nama, Rama Nama, Hare Krishna Mahamantra? We will see all of that. Rama Nama, Krishna Nama. Two names are there. Hare Krishna Mahamantra, how many names are there? Anybody can count and tell? 16 names. 16 Four. names. How many unique names are there? Two. Two. What are the names? Rama and Krishna. And Hare. And Hare. Hare. Hare, Rama and Krishna. Right? So we all know the name, importance of Lord Ramchandra, Ramanama. 
right? Ramanama says, there's no other way than chanting the names of Lord Rama to get liberation. Am I right? Is there any other way? Is there any other way to get liberation other than chanting the names of Lord Rama? Hmm? There's no other way. There's only one. That's why it's called as Taraka Nama. Taraka Nama means what? Taraka Brahma. Taraka Brahma means Taraka means it liberates you. Lord Ramanama's name liberates you. Let's see. There's a very famous song, right? Very famous shloka quoted. Anybody knows that? Lord Shiva says, Yeah. Loudly. Please tell me loud. Thank you. Says Rama 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 Iti. Rame Rame Mano Rame. See Rama, how many times it has come? Six times. Sahasra Nama Tatulyam. Rama Nama Varanani. Again, another one more. Seven times Rama has come. Rama at least. Okay. Rame Rame. Rame Rame Mano Rame. Right? So Lord Shiva is selling to Parvati Dev. Durga Dev. So Lord Shiva is giving Upadesh to Parvati. When Parvati Devi asked, what name, what name should I chant? Which Japa should I do? He said, O oh, Varanana, oh, one with a beautiful face, I chant the holy names of Lord Ram. Ram, Ram, Ram. And thus enjoy this beautiful sound. The holy name of Ram Chandra is equal to 1000 holy names of Lord Vishnu. If you chant one name of Lord Rama, it is equivalent of chanting the entire Vishnu Sahasranama once. So that's a beautiful thing. Now we saw about the Ram Nam. That means if you chant, if you just say Ra and Ma. So every time whenever you say Ra, and he said that Lord Shiva just intensely hears. What is he going to say next? What is he going to say next? What is he going to say? And when you say Ma, he becomes very pleased. You say Ra, and then if you say something else, <laughs> so he's not going to be pleased. Ra, Ma. Right? Very beautiful. So this Rama actually refers to the absolute truth. There is a very beautiful verse in the Padma Purana which says that this Rama Nama is actually Ramante Yoginam Anante Satyananda Chidatmani Iti Rama Padan Esau Parabrahma Vidhiyate That means it is indicating absolute truth Rama. Absolute truth, the Supreme Brahman, Parabrahman, all the yogis are enjoying unlimited enjoyment, spiritual enjoyment. The spiritual enjoyment yogis are getting. That happiness, everything is coming from Rama. That happiness is Rama. That Parabrahman is Rama. That absolute truth is Rama. That is the greatness of the name of Rama. Got it? That is Ramana. Now let us see the greatness of Krishna Nama. The pious results derived from chanting the holy names of Vishnu three times, thousand holy names of Vishnu three times can be attained only by one utterance of the holy name of Krishna, Brahmanda Purana. Now there is a competition, see, Ramanama, Krishna Nama competition. <laughs> Ramanama, how many times did I say? One thousand. Now Krishna Nama? Three times. Three thousand. One thousand, three thousand. So, we have to do calculation now. One Rama and one Krishna. 4,000. So, when we say Hare Krishna Mahamantra, how many Rama, how many Krishna? Huh? How many times are we saying Rama in Hare Rama, Hare Krishna Mahamantra? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times, right? 8 times? Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Four times. 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 Four Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That's a beautiful Krishna Rama. Actually, you know the name Krishna is the original name of God. If God has got a name, that name must be Krishna. Ask me why? Why? Because Krishna, 
means Chris. The word Chris is coming from the root word Akarshayiti iti Krishna. Akarshayiti. Akarshana. You have your word the Akarshana? Word? Attraction. God is all attractive. That means the person who is the most attractive in the universe is God. Must be God. The most attractive person in the universe is God. That is the definition of God. Can anybody, does everybody agree to that? The most beautiful, the most attractive personality is God. Krishna. So the Krishna is the original name of God. Original name of God is Krishna. So we have this wonderful Krishna Nama and Rama Nama. Let us see some more things. This is from Chaitanya Charitamrita. This verse says, Mukti he tu katara ka haya rama na Krishna nama para ka hana kare prema dana. You know what it means? Ram nam if you chant, you will get mukti. Repeat after me. What do you get? Ram nam if you chant, you will get mukti. mukti. If you chant Krishna nam, do you know what you will get? You know what you will get? Prema. Repeat after me. Prema. Prema. You get love. So how many of you would like to get mukti? Please raise your hands. Just go, who wants to get liberated from this material world? Not everybody is interested. <laughs> what is, you want to be continuing here? Okay, I'll ask in the opposite. Who wants to be born again? Please raise your hands. Nobody. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> There's some people still talking. I'll ask this. How many of you want to join LKG again? <laughs> How many of you want to write the 10th exam again? <laughs> what happened suddenly? How many of you want to write the CET exam again? Go through the pressure again. <laughs> so if you want liberation, Mukti. Mukti means liberation. Means no more coming back to this material world. If you don't want to be born again, then chant the names of Lord Rama. If you want the love of Krishna, if you want the love of God, if you want Bhakti, Prema, then chant the names of Krishna. Then if you chant both, what will happen? And you get love, both. So one plus one, free. One plus one, combo out. Right? Combo offer. Hare Krishna Mahamatra is a combo offer because it has both the Krishna Nama and Ra Rama Nama. Now, this is the main Upanishad from where this Hare Krishna Mahamatra has been taken. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Iti Shoda Shakam Nam Nam, Kalim Kal. Can anybody read the uh, translation? The 16 names of the Hare Krishna Mahamudra Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Destroy all the inauspiciousness of the age of Kali This is the conclusion of all the Vedas Kali Santana Upanishad from Krishna Age of Vedas So this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is coming from this Upanishad called Kali Santarana Upanishad. Repeat after me. Kali, Kali Santarana Upanishad. So in that it is said, Nata Parataro Paya Sarva Vedeshu Drishyate. You know what that means? There is no other way in Kali Yuga. This is the only way. Nata Parataro Paya. There is no other way in the Vedas. In the entire Vedas. Who is telling? Lord Brahma is telling to Narada. Lord Brahma is the master of all the Vedas. All the four Vedas he is reciting actually. In the material world he recites the Vedas. He is saying, I have read all the Vedas. There is no better mantra than this. Nata Paratharopaya Sarva Vedeshu Drishyate. I have seen all the Vedas. Not there. It is the best one. I will tell you a nice story. Okay. How many of you heard about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Heard about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Yes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he was a small baby, he used to be cry crying very loudly. So all the ladies used to come together and to make him silent, they used to chant the names of Krishna. 
So when they chant the names of Krishna loudly, he'll become silent. And again, after some time, he'll start crying. Again, they'll chant the names of Krishna, he'll become silent. Again, he'll start crying. Like that, he was making everybody chant the names of Krishna, even when he was a small baby, just born baby. And I'll tell you one very interesting story. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was going through the forest of Jharkhand. Anybody has been through Jharkhand? Yeah, anybody? Has anybody from Jharkhand? Or anybody been to Jharkhand? Heard of Jharkhand forest? The forest of Jharikanda. It was called Jharikanda at that time. Jharikand, 500 years ago, the forest now is also there, but it's like very dense forest. A lot of wild animals are there. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to go through that forest to Brindavan. Okay. So then he went through the forest. Then he saw that there are some wild animals. He saw some elephants. He saw some snakes. He saw some tigers. He saw some lions. He saw some lions and he saw some deer. Then he took some water. He sprinkled on that. He said, chant the names of Krishna. And the animals started to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The elephants started to chant the names of Krishna. The tiger started to chant the names of Krishna. The lion and the deer, they are chanting and they are, you know, they are hugging each other. Did you anytime see a tiger and a deer hugging each other? They are hugging each other and chanting the names of Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he could make even the animals also chant the names of Krishna. So that was the speciality of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right? So now we will see something interesting. What are the benefits of chanting? So, okay, this is all fine, but what are the benefits? So, how am I going to benefit? What is the difference that is going to make in my life? Okay. How, what is the difference that it is going to make to our life? Let's see some of the benefits. So, first of all, it increases your self-discipline and willpower. Willpower. How many of you agree that if we have self-discipline and willpower, we can achieve anything in life? Do you all agree? Yes. Yes. That is the only thing lacking in us. Don't you agree? What is lacking? We have got everything. We have got information. We have got everything with us. All facilities, resources, everything is there. But something is lacking. What is that? Willpower. And self-discipline. Starting on time, finishing on time, ending on time, starting something, completing it. Willpower to continue, go through. Everybody starts. I mean, how many of you take up resolutions on the new year and then leave it? Happens, right? We take up some resolution during the new year. And then we give it up. Why we are giving it up? Is not there. Hmm? Discipline is not there. So by chanting the names of God, what happens? Your willpower becomes Thruda Vrata. Thruda means very strong. It will become very, 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 very strong. So you will not shake. Even anything comes, you will not be shaken. Self-discipline. It teaches you self-discipline and willpower. Let's see some more benefits. Emotional balance and mood regulation. So how many times it happens with us that we go to office and we come back and then there is some disturbance in the office. Maybe the boss scolded us. And then at home we start shouting. Do you know how much difficult I have at office? And something like that happens. <laughs> So we are taking that frustration, there is so much of frustration that happened in the office and then we are taking that out in the house. So emotional balance missing, right? Suddenly we are becoming very angry. Suddenly we are becoming very calm, right? Suddenly emotional, suddenly emotional. Suddenly very stoic. Suddenly we become like stone hearted. Suddenly we become very soft, very soft. A small word is enough you know, to make us feel disturbed. Am I right? So by chanting the names of uh, this uh, holy names of Krishna, what happens is you will get enhanced emotional balance. Mind becomes balanced. It's like a balance, emotional balance. Right? Mood becomes regulated. So that's why it is said that before you go to office, before you start your work at home, finish your chanting. It's like an immunity. It's like, you know, immunity. It's like wearing a helmet. So as soon as you go to the office, you know, you will be ready to face. It's like a shield. Avach, protection. <laughs> because anything can happen in the office, isn't it? Somebody will say, suddenly they will say something. 
Hey, what happened to you? Why did you not come? Why did you not do this work? Then the whole day your mood is disturbed. Am I right? Happens, man. So this mood regulation happens very nicely if you can chant the holy names of God. That's very important. Okay. Let's see some more benefits. Improved ability to deal with life challenges. So if there is one thing that we can teach in schools, one extra subject, I think this should be the subject. How to face life's challenges? Right? Because children today, they don't know how to face the challenges. They are not exposed. What happens is parents, they are overprotective. What parents do? They are like keeping in a very like in a, like a glass box. Like in a glass box. You keep them very nicely in a glass box. That's nice. But then suddenly you expose them. In the, when, you are in the, when they come to the 10th and 12th, right? When they come to engineering. When they are on their own. They are exposed outside and then they struggle a lot. They are not able to even take a challenge. So for example, I will tell you some examples. Like somebody is like, let's say somebody is an anchor, a topper in the school. As soon as this guy goes to the college, he sees that there are so many people who are much smarter than me, brighter than me. What happens to that child? You know, he becomes very depressed. He is very surprised because he has never seen that kind of a competition. Or somebody, let, let's say, somebody coming from some humble background. Right? And then he's seeing that there's so much of competition in the city, right? So many people are speaking so confidently, so much of competition. And suddenly you feel like, I give up, I cannot take this. You know what happens? There's so many children who go to IITs. And then they actually uh, give up and come back. They're not able to pass also. They're able to crack, crack IIT JE, but they're not able to continue. Why? They're not able to deal with the life challenges, right? So especially entrepreneurs, businessmen also, huh? they start some business and business is not working well. They try to end their life because it's not working in their favor. Things are not working in their favor. But the society is like that. The world is like that. How many of you agree that the world is like that? It's very competitive cutthroat. You can't be like a very soft person and say, I can't handle challenges. You can't be like that. You should be like very roughly trained, just like a military man. And a military man is like every day doing training. So when the real situation comes, he's not like, you know, worried. We become like, you know, very scared of the situation. But the military person is not because he's every day practicing, right? He's every day doing. So it's like an everyday art, right? That's why, that's why we should chant every day. If you're chanting every day, you know, your, your mind becoming stronger, 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 stronger. It's like if you do karate kung fu, just imagine. We see that some Kung Fu players, they hit against the wall also. Did you see it? They break a, a brick also. But if you directly try, don't try. <laughs> but if you try, your hand may be broken also. But we can see small children, they will say, break. How are they able to do it? Tell me. Practice. Everyday practice. Daily practice, they do. They know how to hit. And their hand becomes very strong. Similarly, our mind also is so soft right now. It has to become very strong. We have to train our mind to face the challenges of life. Otherwise, uh, just think about it honestly. Are we really prepared for any kind of challenges in life? At the moment, when everything is running smoothly, we are okay. But if something goes wrong, are we ready? Are we ready for any change? No, actually we are not ready. Right? So it's very important. You should chant the names of God, then you get the improved ability to deal with life challenge because chanting of the holy names of God is Bhakti Yoga. What is it called? Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti yoga. And uh, we all know yoga means what? Yoga means mind control. Yoga means mind control. Right? And it is said Bhakti Yoga is the topmost yoga. Lord Krishna has given multiple yoga systems in Bhagavad Gita. What are they? Anybody can say? Karma Yoga. Second, Jnana Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga. And Bhakti Yoga. And what is Krishna's conclusion in Bhagavad Gita? Which one is the best? Which one is the best? Bhakti Yoga. Mamcha yo avyavicharena bhakti yogena sevate sagunan samatitya itan brahma bhuyaya kalpate. This is bhakti yogena sevate. If you want to realize Brahman, you have to do bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga 
the main principle of bhakti yoga is chanting the holy names of krishna bhakti yoga means chanting the holy names of krishna right that's the thing so yoga will improve your mind concentration now this is very important reduce negative habits and addictions do you know the power of a habit a power of a habit i'll tell you how powerful a habit is just one habit only one habit if let us say if a aeroplane which is starting from new york to los angeles it starts and it just rotates by 1 degree only 1 degree rotation and it just keeps going what happens to that will it reach uh, los angeles it will reach some other city only 1 degree even if you are doing 1 degree also it changes that's why it's so powerful it's just like this you know plastic covers we say that plastic covers are plastic cover kya hai chalta hai mera ek plastic cover se kya hone wala hai is it not but then okay let us say you have a plastic cover you have a plastic cover you have a plastic cover if you put all of this together for one day it becomes this much if you make it for one month it becomes this much if you make the whole locality it becomes like this of that of a room for the whole year for the whole city can you imagine how much it big it is so never underestimate the power of small things positive habits negative habits both have their own effects if you have a positive habit if you can inculcate one single simple positive habit every day that you know if you say that okay i'll start reading a book every day i'll read only 5 pages per day only 5 pages per day within 30 days how many pages you will complete 150 pages within one year how many pages you will complete 15 into 12 6 is a 1800 1800 pages 1800 pages means um, if you think that 300 pages is one book you would have read six books per year just by reading five pages per day in small habit it only starts with a small habit right uh, just one small uh, leakage in the tank is enough to empty the whole tank agree savings also if you have a one simple habit of saving just couple of just 500 rupees per month also you can save a lot in 30 years it will become 1 crore 500 rupees per month power of small habits but bad is also the same thing you can think are ye to kuch bhi nahi hai everybody does that <laughs> this is nothing everybody does it it's okay thoda bahut to chalta hai negative habits when they accumulate what happens over days i told you right over one month over one year over what 10 years 100 years it becomes very big significantly big enough to cause damage to you so if you want to get rid of addictions negative habits we should chant the names of god by chanting the names of god what happens is positive habits naturally it will start coming inside you negative habits will automatically go you don't have to separately uh, do something some special efforts for getting rid of the negative habits all you only have to do is just add this positive habit have a positive habit negative habit will automatically you don't have to separately do any effort that's the speciality of positive habits like right? chanting positive personality traits so today we are doing a lot of personality training and lot of kind of corporate trainings etc etc schools also they are doing so many moral education value education so much but despite of all of this we see that our society lacks some basic personality traits like compassion how many of you agree that if somebody is on the street okay let's say somebody has uh, undergone accident how many of you think that you know people will come and help him how many how many people will come and help him? few they will think I have to go. It's I mean, let him. It's it's not my business. It's not my problem. I have to go. So basic compassion itself is missing. Kaliyu, and then nobody has compassion for anybody. That's the reason why we became so hard, isn't it? Why don't we trust anybody? We became so hard-hearted because everybody is like that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Even family members don't care. Brothers don't care. Nobody cares about anybody. <laughs> you are on your own. <laughs> no compassion. Compassion is gone. The basic things inside the heart are gone. So, if you chant the holy names of Krishna, what happens is you get the positive personality traits. 
it gets a positive personality traits like compassion humility gratitude okay how many of you like that habit gratitude saying thank you and if somebody has done something for you you must say thank you right humility you should be humble that you might be like a big tree but you might have become a, uh, you become a big banyan tree now that's fine but once upon a time you were a small sapling you were a small seed you started with a small seed and somebody help somebody put water inside that sapling should you not remember that person somebody put some water somebody helped that sapling grow into the banyan tree today so we should be thankful for that person is it not so we should have uh, thankfulness gratitude humility that okay i have grown very big in my life but uh, my beginning was very humble i started with something very simple i am a simple person i am not that i am a very big person i am right? humility so these kind of qualities you can get by chanting of the holy names of krishna let's see some spiritual benefits that was a material benefits let us see some spiritual benefits of chanting of holy names so before i go to that let me tell you one thing shila prabhupad he was like 69 year old man and he was a sanyasi from vrindavan where was he from vrindavan sanyasi from vrindavan and his guru had given him one instruction go and preach this krishna consciousness to the entire world go and preach this krishna consciousness to the western world so single man 70 year old having 40 rupees in hand is taking a one set of bhagavatam in his hands nothing else is there with him he goes to america alone all alone and he started this moment do you know how so in the tom tom what is the tomkinson's park there's a park very famous park in the new york so he used to sit down under the tree and he is to he is dead only one kartal any kartal is there so how he used to do we used to keep that okay for couple of things how prabhupada used to do he used to do only one thing that's it he did nothing 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 only one thing. repeat after me after reading hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare everyone hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare thank you so all he did was only chanting of hari krishna maha mantra like this and slowly so many boys and girls they started coming they started to dance they started to feel some connection so they are not even from india we understand krishna rama hari krishna maha mantra everybody knows hari krishna hari rama nobody is there that who doesn't know rama and krishna names in india they don't know anything simply prabhupada is chanting and they are all coming they are all coming and they are all coming and they are all uh, feeling some happiness from inside they are feeling happiness and then they are slowly slowly he started the movement like that and then today is gone as over 700 centers all over the world thousands of people who are practicing krishna consciousness so it all started with the one simple chant hare krishna maha mantra so let us see some spiritual benefits of this hare krishna maha mantra what are the benefits of hare krishna maha mantra so here is the first benefit this is a there's a verse in chaitanya charitamrita this is the <coughs> shikshashtakam which says cheto darpanam arjanam bhavam avadavagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadu jeevanam ఆనందాంబుదివర్ధనం ప్రతిపదం అమృత స్వాదనం సర్వాత్మాస్ నరం పరం విజయతే శ్రీకృష్ణ సంకీర్తనం 
It's the first line is Cheto Darpana Marjanam. Just imagine a mirror. Let's say I give you a mirror to watch your face. But if the mirror is filled with a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, will you be able to see yourself? No. Will you be able to see yourself? No. So if you can get a cleansing agent like Colin or something, put it and then nicely wipe it and then you can see your face very clear. So similarly, right now our heart is filled with a lot of dirt, impurities. Examples, anger. How many of you feel angry? So no, day to day, angry. How many of us feel envious, jealous, jealous about our uh, brother or sister or a friend or a spouse or family member or anybody? Jealousy, right? So we have these impurities. So because of these impurities, we are not able to see ourselves and we are not able to see God also. We are not able to see things as they are. Completely dust. So, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. Second important benefit is it awakens the dormant love for Krishna. So it's like this. Everybody has love for Krishna within their heart. Everybody. Just like how a small child, small baby, you don't need to teach walking to a baby. How many mothers here? Did you teach uh, walking to your baby when, he was, when your kid was very small? No. How did he learn? Himself. Himself. Did you teach walking? No. So walking is there within the baby. The baby we just facilitate. Right? Similarly, love for God, love for Krishna is there within our heart. Is there within inside us. We just have to awaken it. Just like a small spark, we have to fan it. If you put a small spark and nicely fan it, what happens? It becomes a big fire. So, awakens the dormant love of Krishna. This is by chanting the holy names of Krishna. You awaken the dormant love for Krishna. Liberation from Samsara Chakra. What is this Chakra? You have heard about Parthita Chakra. What is that Chakra? Birth and death. Cycle of birth and death. What did Krishna say? Jatasya hi drivo mrutyo. Dhruvam janma murtasya cha. Anybody who is born must be dead. Anybody who dies must be born again. So it's a cycle. It's like a cycle. Like the life cycle of a butterfly. You, you, you did it in a school, right? You did it? Butterfly life cycle. Did it? It's a cycle, right? So it starts with an egg and becomes lava and then it becomes a caterpillar. And then it becomes a butterfly. After that, butterfly again lays eggs. Cycle. Birth and death cycle. So if you want liberation from the cycle of birth and death, we must chant the names of Krishna. There is no other way. Other than chanting the names of Krishna. Actually, I will tell you something very interesting. We were doing this Madhura Madhure Vyopi. Remember this verse, this song, right? We just did this song. Maduram Madure Pyo Pi Mangale Pyo Pi Mangalam Pamanam Pavane Pyo Pi Beautiful song. We did this song this before. The reason I'll tell you why we did this song. It's called Kevala Okay. So it's like Sweet than all the sweet things. Madhuram Madhure Bhyopi. More auspicious than all the auspicious things. Pavanam Pavane Bhyopi. And purer than the most pure things is the holy names of Hari. Holy names of Krishna. Harer Nameva Kevalam. The only thing which is the best thing in the world is Harer Nameva Kevalam. Right? See such a beautiful this Just look at this. Person is a true preceptor or a true father, a true mother, a true friend if they teach one to always remember the holy name of Sri Hari. Right? See this. It says, What a sorrow, what a great sorrow, more painful than any other misery in the world. Mistaking it as a piece of glass, people have forgotten this jewel. Holy name of Sri Hari is everything. Right? And uh, it should be heard again and again. 
with one's ears. It should be uttered again and again with one's voice. It should be perpetually sung and sung and you. The holy name of Krishna is everything. Let's see this. It says, Saguru Sapita Chapi Samata Bandavo Pisa ಶಿಕ್ಷೇಚೇತಸ್ಮತುಂಹರೇರ್ನಾಮೈವಕೇವಲಂ ಧೀಯತಾಂ ಧೀಯತಾಂ ಕರ್ಣ ನಿಯತಾಂ ವಾಚ ಗೀಯತಾಂ ಗೀಯತಾಂ ನೀತ್ಯಂಮ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನೋ so nice so beautiful it's saying such a beautiful and what is sorrow aho dukkham maha dukkham what is sorrow what is sorrow and dukkha di dukkha mati everybody have forgotten this ratna we are, we are thinking this ratna we are, you know if you just think you know if i give you a diamond if you think that it is a small useless stone and if you just like you say throw it somewhere sometimes we keep for decoration some stones right so in the, in the, in the glass we put some <laughs> pebbles think that it's a pebble and if you throw a very very expensive stone that's very unfortunate it's not very unfortunate so that's the thing that's been said so should be heard again and again with one's ears keep hearing keep hearing okay giyatam giyatam tiyatam and keep speak keep chanting keep chanting keep chanting perpetually sing a new and there is something very interesting so prabhupada used to say this if you chant the names of john 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 like that you get bored how many times can you chant your name right so chant mm-hmm. chant but if you chant krishna 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 you will never get bored you can chant keep on chanting hare krishna forever keep on chanting keep on chanting we have been chanting for so many years also you will not feel bored it's always new new means it's always new it's always fresh why it is so fresh because abhinnatvam nama namino no difference between the name and krishna krishna and name same there is no difference liberation direct association of krishna so we cannot see krishna am i right we can't see krishna we saw right what was that sutre manigaraiva sutre manigaraiva lord krishna is like the thread of the pearls pearl necklace is there thread is there you can can you see the thread i'm, I'm wearing some uh, beads necklace here to see are you able to see the thread but what if the thread cuts all beads will come out similarly a whole universe is put together even our life is also put together our body also if it is properly working 100% it's behind is paramatma krishna the moment krishna leaves everything falls apart everything falls apart the doctors can't do anything they put all the meters and monitors metrics everything they'll try everything nothing will work finished so that is krishna we can't see paramatma you can't see but then simply by chanting the names of krishna hari krishna maha mantra you can associate with krishna directly it is like a direct appointment with krishna how many of you want a direct appointment with krishna please raise your hands you want to directly having appointment with krishna so it is your daily appointment with krishna krishna is directly with you is right to t- spend time with you so we just have to take time out and attentively spend time we have to give an appointment so krishna is waiting for our appointment now <laughs> so that's nice so let's go and see him. protection from maya what is that maya what is this maya kya hai maya what is maya anybody can say what is maya materialistic materialistic well anybody can say what is maya so we want to say what is maya Maya is nothing. Maya is anything. Okay. So Maya is uh, something that changes everything, right? <laughs> so just imagine. Let's say there is one ticket. Uh, uh, 
lottery ticket somebody bought a lottery ticket right every day is buying lottery ticket is not getting right one day he got frustrated and he gave it to a beggar that, that ticket got 10 crore rupees price right now he'll go he'll go to the beggar and do anything to get that so maya is very strong illusion right we see maya can do anything and suddenly somebody becomes very rich what happens anything can happen we can't predict what will happen next anything can happen next maya is so strong illusion maya so always you should be very careful you should be scared of maya oh what will maya do to me today like that you should be thinking you should be scared of maya so how will the protection there protection from maya comes from krishna's names by chanting the hari krishna maha mantra only we get the protection Okay, let's see some more things. Let's see some practical aspects of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. How to chant, etc. And all we will see now. Hmm? So now, first of all, what is the method of chanting? What is the proper method of chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? So first of all, uh, we start with the prayers. Okay, that is called as the prayers. The prayers is Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Repeat after me. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya. प्रभु नित्यानंद प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंद So the proper method of chanting is first we should start with this mantra. Okay, it's like a Shanti mantra. We start with this mantra, invocation, and after this you can chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And now how to chant, where to chant, when to chant, etc. First of all, how to chant we will see. You have to attentively chant. So I'll I'll just show you one chanting. Just tell me if that chanting is okay. Okay, just let's just I'll just show you something. Hari Krishna 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 H
that everything they should do sankhya purvaka means count they will have even if they have to pay obeisances also they will have a count today i will pay so many obeisances count so that you know you know that you have done that or target reached or not how do you know just simply keep some blank uh, goal that i will do whenever i want to do you will not even do if you have a count you will know whether it is completed or not whether you always you are chanting your streak everything you will get so it's a proper way of chanting is you have to chant with the beats and uh, multiple obstacles come in the way of chanting so when you are chanting you feel like lot of things will come different different things will come all the creative thoughts ever will start coming in your mind when you start chanting you never get that kind of it's like you know very peaceful all the wonderful ideas all the cooking ideas or all the business ideas all the wonderful ideas of the world will come right who all you have to call who all you have to talk to everything will come so these are this happens so you have to be mindful about that what thoughts are coming and try to attentively hear whatever you are chanting just chant and attentively hear what are you chanting no hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare like that you are chanting and hearing both should happen chanting and hearing both are happening so one sir uh, one disciple last year prabhupad prabhupad i am getting a lot of thoughts when chanting what should i do my mind is not in my control my mind is not in my control prabhupad said where is the question of mind you are chanting with your tongue hearing with your ears where is mind coming into picture he said that means mind should not come into picture at all only two things should work mouth and ears that's it somebody asked should i remember krishna should i remember krishna dancing with gopis <laughs> somebody asked no need to remember anything no need to artificially remember anything if you keep on chanting keep on chanting over many many years automatically the past times of krishna will come to your mind automatically with hearing it will come you don't have to artificially remember something impose something and chant that okay krishna is there now krishna is walking krishna is taking the cows no need of all that it's no need of all that you don't need to struggle so hard just chant and hear okay now so uh, we will also show you towards the end of the session with uh, mala and all let's see some quotations and uh, then we will come to the con- so some nice prabhupad quotes prabhupad right so this movement international society for krishna consciousness is based on this thing the life and soul for us is chanting of the hare krishna maha mantra prabhupad said i have achieved everything only with one thing chanting of hare krishna maha mantra let's see some powerful quotes from shila prabhupad this is a, a letter written to our guru maharaj jayapada swami maharaj prabhupad is writing a letter to him if you have got some time if you have got some time the best thing would be to chant hare krishna more and more because our life is very short and we have to finish our krishna consciousness this life very quickly life is very short so whenever you got time chant the names of krishna so many times it happens okay we are waiting in the queue in the metro right or sometimes maybe you are driving btm traffic traffic stuck what will you do free time you are waiting for some friend nothing to do or you finished your work or maybe you know teacher school teacher finished teaching you are having break period nothing you doing nothing chant you are maybe you are on the bus okay you are in the bus doing so no? traveling nothing to do to chant chant the names of let's see some more quotes very inspirational our prayer of the hare krishna maha mantra means addressing radha and krishna for being engaged in their service what is the meaning of hare krishna maha mantra prabhupad is saying hare krishna means oh hare oh radha rani oh krishna please engage me in your service so that i can get relief from the service of maya so when we are saying hare who is hare in that hare means radha rani hare means radha rani in that hare krishna means radha rani if you say hare rama you can think sita ram like that see of the lord got it no so we are requesting radha rani o oh radha rani o oh krishna please engage me in your service we are requesting krishna please engage me in your service because if you are not in krishna service what happens will be in the service of maya, maya. maya. heads and tails 
right? If you have a coin, right? If you take a coin, either there is, if you put the head, six heads. Opposite side is tails, right? Night and day. After the sun sets, what happens? Night. When the sun rises, day. So that sunrise is Krishna. If you want to be facing in the sun, you want to be in the light, that is Krishna. When the moment we forget Krishna, what happens? The moment we forget Krishna, Japatiya Maya Tare Japatiya Dhare. What happens? Maya will immediately catch. Immediately. The moment we forget Krishna, Maya is waiting to catch. Right? So we should say, Oh my Krishna, Oh my Radharani, please. Krishna, please uh, keep me in your service so that I can get relief from Maya. Now, let's see. There is no requirement that Japa should be done silently and chanting should be done differently. Loudly or silently, everything is alright. Somebody asking a question. Should I chant loudly or silently? Some people ask. Should I chant like this? Or should I do it loudly? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. How do I do it? So, I'll tell you one story. Very interesting story. Our Guru Maharaj, Jayapatak Maharaj, um, he used to be chanting very loudly, very loudly. Then the, the brahmacharis of that ashram, they went to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, uh, Jayapataka Swami is chanting very loudly. We are not able to, we are not, we are getting disturbed. Then Prabhupada called him and said, um, why are you chanting so loudly? Then our Guru Maharaj said, uh, Prabhupada, I read in your book that when we loudly chant the Hare Krishna Mantra, even the trees, everything gets delivered. Everything around you gets delivered. That, you know, there's some trees outside. There may be some lizards also here. Some small, small flies also. You know. They will also hear and they'll get delivered. You wrote in the book, I saw nectar of devotion. That's why I'm chanting. So Haridas Thakur is saying, chant loudly. You know, that's, so that's nice, but uh, do one thing. Go to the uh, park or go to the forest and then chant there. Then uh, our Guru Maharaj used to go to the forest and loudly chant there. Very loudly. Very loudly. So what happens is when you chant loudly, the benefit is, of course, not so loudly that your neighbors will come. But if you chant loudly, loud enough that you can hear, your mind at least will be in control. If you're chanting a little fast and little loudly, if you vary the little bit pace, your mind will chanting very slowly, so many things will run inside your mind, right? So here, Prabhupada is saying there's no such requirement. Japa should be done silently and chanting should be done differently. Loudly or silently, everything is alright. There is no restriction. One thing is, we should chant very attentively. attentively. So, this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna. Not allowed. Got it? That's not allowed. No att inattentive chanting. Hear vibration distinctively. Right? So, let's see some of the. Um, must chant 16 rounds a day minimum with attention. Clearly chant the mantra. Listen very carefully. This is the recommended process for purifying the heart. The sinful age of Kali. The sinful age of Kali, the recommended process is chanting 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So 16 rounds you can chant. If you can start chanting 16 rounds for the first day, that's great. There are some people who pick up 16 rounds on day one. I heard Amagulula Prabhu, I heard that he started on day one, he started 16 rounds of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. But if you can pick it up well and good, takes two hours. But if you can't, at least start with one round. Of chanting Hare Krishna Mantra. How many of you are chanting Hare Krishna? Can you please lift your hands? Let me see. How many of you are chanting already? Okay, that's nice. How many of you want to chant? Please lift your hands. How many of you want to chant Hare Krishna Mantra? That's nice. That's good. So chant this Hare Krishna Mantra. It's very nice. So, it's a very, very uh, beautiful gift that we have got from Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And like we have seen from the Kevalashtaka. Hare Nama. Hare Nama. Hare Nama Iva? Kevala. Kalau. Nasteva, 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 Gati Ranyata. That means in the Kali Yuga, the chanting of the holy names, the chanting of the holy names, the chanting of the holy names, there is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. Three times has been repeated because when you say Shanti, 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 three times means repetition. Repetition means stressing something important, stressing that. Very important, right? So there's no other way, no other way, no other way. So we will do a demonstration, Prabhu. What is the plan? So we have some Japmalas here. So
we can we can we can we can chant one round or something like that can we chant a little bit what do we do you tell us what do we do can we chant around let's do one thing then um takes 5 minutes let's all take all the i'll give me take japmalas with you and i'll teach you how to chant and we'll all chant one round together there is one or eight times is that okay is that okay yes no yes great So just see this. It's a japmala. This is called the japmala, right? So inside the japmala, do you see this bead here, the topmost one? Do you see this? This is called as the Krishna bead. What is it called? Krishna bead. Krishna bead. So one rule is you should not cross the Krishna bead when chanting. You should not cross it like this. You should not cross. After completing one round, that is, let us say I chant from here to here. When I come to the last bead, no. you should not cross over it what you should do you should rotate got it now is everybody clear with that which is sir let us open so just see one demonstration let us say i came here okay hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare one bit Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Here, last one, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Now, what am I going to do? Turn, turn. Got it? Practice. Just do it, do it once. Come to the last beat once, and then just turn it like this.